Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about integrating Gemini in Obsidian in order to improve our note taking and learning experience. With the release of Gemini 1.5 recently, Google AI is on the hype. And one of the highlighting features of Gemini 1.5 is the ability to take in 1 million tokens at a time. You can see here Gemini 1.5 Pro can analyze and summarize the 402 page transcripts from Apollo 11's mission. Not just that, it can summarize 1 million tokens, which is a great uh, feat in the LLM space right now. And although this uh, Gemini 1.5 is not available to the public yet, we can use Gemini 1.0 right now. Here's the chat with Gemini and it will take you to this chat GPT like interface of Gemini. Now we'll learn how you can add this Gemini AI in Obsidian to help you improve your note taking and learning experience. Let's go to our Obsidian world first and there you will need to go to settings, Comte plugins, browse again as always to install a Comte plugin, search for Gemini and you will have this plugin Gemini assistant. I'll I reinstall it, click on install and you'll need to enable it. If you go to options, you have a few options here. First is the option to add API key. If you have used ChatGPT in Obsidian, then you have to pay for the API key. Uh, Google's Gemini 1.0 is currently free and it is providing free API access. So we can uh, get the API from Google for that. You will need to go to this website aistudio.google.com Then here you will have the option to create a new API key. Click on get API key and here you will have the option to generate API key. Now you will need to create Google Cloud projects. If you don't have one you can go to Google Cloud. You can search for Google Cloud projects and go to console over here here you can create a new project uh, by just clicking on new project gemini ai click on create and you will be able to create a new project in google cloud now you can get the api key i'll reload the page here Click on create new API and you can search for Gemini and you will have it over here because that is the recently created Google Cloud project. Click on generate a new API key, copy this API and add it to your Obsidian plugins settings. Here are a few options that you can configure. The first one is the chat setting where you can change these parameters, max output tokens, temperature, top P, top K values. Temperature will control the creativity or randomness of the responses. And these are other two parameters that you can change. Click on save and here is another uh, section. I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's uh, go to our chats. You will have the chat icon in the ribbon menu. And if you click on that, you will be taken to chat interface where you can chat with the Gemini AI. So this is the first way you can use the Gemini AI by using the chat interface. Then there is another one which is by using prompts. Here are two prompts by default. Selection and document. I'll just create a new one to show you. Let's create a prompt for summarizing uh, our text. Summarize. And here is the scope where you can choose selection or document. Selection means that the selected text will be taken as context while document means the whole document will be taken as context. Then here you have max output tokens, temperature, top P, top K values. Here is the prompt where you can write. Let's say we are creating a prompt to summarize our note, which means you can just write summarize note in five bullet points. You can save and you will have it summarized and you can just write selection to make it more distinct i will add another summarize document in five key bullet points 
click save i'll delete these two because it, they don't have any prompt over here so they will not work you can add prompt and they will start working let me go to a node now let's say this is a book feel, feel good productivity by ali abdal that i recently read now i can select this text over here and go to command palette and search for Gemini open assistant and here you will have the prompts that you have created let's say I create summarize selection and a call out will be created which will summarize the selected text over here if I go to reading mode here you have the summary of this text now similarly you can also use the prompt to summarize the whole document and you can also use the hotkey to make it more fast you can always utilize the chat feature over here currently i don't think it supports chat history but maybe the plugin developer will work on that in the future so this is how you can integrate a gemini ai or google's ai in obsidian where you don't have to pay any fees in order to use the ai and that's really cool because if you are using api key from open ai then you will need to go on the pay as you go model but using google's api is free so that will save you some money but still i feel like google's ai is far behind in reasoning and giving actual responses so if you want a uh, very good responses then you will have to switch to chat gpt but for simple responses and simple ai help you can use gemini so that's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, then you will love my newsletter Obsidian Ninja because I'll be sharing some cool tips and tricks on how you can improve your note taking in Obsidian. That's all for this video. I hope you have a great time. Bye bye.